He's been on the job just six days. Today, I sat down with Dr. Eduardo Hernandez, the new superintendent of Edgewood ISD. He acknowledges that he's coming into a district that's had its fair share of troubles in recent years. A previous superintendent who stepped down amid sexual misconduct allegations and a state takeover of the school board. Despite all of that, Hernandez says that Edgewood has seen successes and he wants to build on that. For him, that means taking a non-traditional approach and even looking to businesses like Chick-fil-A. My job is not to come in and pass judgment on something I didn't get to witness. We have to address that these things happened in the past, but that's going to be a very instant thing. And let's move on. Shut the door and move on. Dr. Eduardo Hernandez says it's time for honest conversation in Edgewood ISD. What's working well and what isn't? And I think we have a very strong early childhood program. I think the Head Start, the Pre-K, the early literacy centers are extremely strong. I think we want to add more to that. Uh, I think one thing that I do want to make sure that we re reestablish or maybe have a conversation about is how we support principals. The principal is the key to your reform. Principals support teachers. Who affects kids? Teachers in the classroom. So I sort of want to shift our focus instead of being top down to go grassroots up. Hernandez says that he already feels a connection to this district because this west side neighborhood is similar to the one he grew up in near Dallas. Very working class, uh, recent immigrant, every kind of walk of life that you can imagine. And so I, because I'm a product of, the, of, of public schools, I wanted to go to a school district that um, had that kind of a student. He's not hesitant to call the school district a business. And kids, he says, are the number one customer. When you think of customer service, which is what we all, this is what this business is about. Companies like Chick-fil-A probably come to mind to you. And so I want to study the program that Chick-fil-A has. And what type of, how do you establish a customer service system that, that, is a comp, that is a complement to our central office, to our individual buildings? Because really what we're talking about is gaining trust and respect back from our parents. Hernandez is right now conducting what he calls a listening tour, talking to district leaders, principals, community members, parents about what the district should keep doing, what it needs to stop doing, and what it should start doing. He most recently worked as the chief academic officer in Duncanville ISD near Dallas.